Alright guys, so I'm going to be reviewing Star Wars The Hidden Empire. So, Star Wars The Hidden Empire, to catch you all up to speed, this is from Charles Soule and is the end of the Crimson Dawn trilogy, which was started in War of the Bounty Hunters, Crimson Reign, and then finally this. So this wraps up the Kira trilogy. So, for those who are unaware, or do you need a recap, um, basically the Crimson Dawn trilogy is centered around our main character, Kira, who is the love interest slash one of the characters from um, Solo, a Star Wars story played by Emily Clarkson. And basically she's come back and is, has this big overarching plot of infiltrating all levels of the, of the Empire and the Rebellion and even crime syndicates, like in a Hydra th type storyline from Winter Soldier, to defeat the Sith. Not the Empire, but to kill Vader and Pal like to free the galaxy from Vader and Palpatine. Even though she has like no fucking plans for like how to like save the galaxy after the Empire, after you take out Vader and Palpatine, and go also go after the Rebellion. Like her whole thing, like her whole theme is like her whole open, um, her whole mission is completely out of line and like out of sync. And I don't know if that's a writing thing, or they just didn't know what to do. Like, Soul didn't have, like, an idea for it, because he had, like, I'm going to bring a character from Solo, a Star Wars story, back and make her a main character. But I'm going to do really layered things. And Soul is a good... Oh, almost dropped the book. Soul's a good writer. I'm not going to deny that. Soul did really... I think he li I liked his... Well, I know I liked his Daredevil. Not to the level of the other writers, but I think he did a good job. I do enjoy his Darth Vader comic that was set after Revenge of the Sith. Especially that final arc. That was that was awesome. That was perfect. And here, the problem is, is that the Crimson Dawn trilogy really has just been kind of middling. Um, War of the Bounty Hunters was okay. Then we had Crimson Rain, which Crimson Rain, the event in the tie, it happened. More story happens in the tie-in than the actual book, uh, the actual main event book. That was my big problem with it. Was there's really nothing but backstory and maybe the last two issues dealing with the with the whole story and yeah, it's really wasted potential. So where does this leave? Like, where does the Hidden Empire stand? Now, first off, while it is treated like a Star Wars event. It did not have any tie- I don't- I did not find any tie-ins or whatever. This was just more meant to be like a wrap-up to a trilogy I don't think the rest of the writing staff wanted to be a part of. Like, I feel like after doing back- like, halting all their stories to do all this was just making people go- like, the writing- like, the editorial staff go, Charles, 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 listen. No one wants to do a third event. We did back-to-back -back events. Just wrap up your story in, in a five-issue miniseries. And that's what it feels like. Now- this is Kira with her back against the wall. The Crimson Dawn, like the Empire, is focusing on destroying the Crimson Dawn. Kira is gone from antagonist to our protagonist, and Vader and Palpatine are hunting her in order to think, thing, find this thing called the uh, Fomata Cage, which is supposed to be holding this. Um, it's supposed to be meant for a trap, like a permanent cage for Sith Lords, and is said to be containing the spirit of a Sith Lord. Um. So yeah. So, I gotta be honest, this was, this was good. This was good. I mean, anything's better than Crim the Crimson Rain story. And while the Crimson Rain story itself, if you, as long as you don't read the main event title, you're good. If you're reading, like, you know, if you're, re it, like, it sucks. Like, the main event book itself sucked. I was reading, the only Darth, the only Star Wars comic I am reading is Darth Vader. Um, mostly because it's kind of a completionist thing. And the Darth Vader Crimson Rain tie-in was actually really good, as was War of the Bounty Hunters. I did enjoy some of the stuff from War of the Bounty Hunters. But it's very it was very clear that like the event itself didn't have much it was more of a the middle story, Crimson Rain, it became very obvious outside of the outside of the tie-ins, it was more of build up for the for the end. And I really wish trilogies would stop doing that, making the middle part feel like just oh wait till the third wait till the third part. I know it's the middle of the story. I'm I'm aware. I know someone in the comments gonna be like, but that's the whole middle of the story. You have to bring that up. I know, but like, you don't have to just make it all build like obvious build up. That's what I'm saying. If that makes any sense. <sighs> anyway, so point being. Crimson Rain didn't have a lot of story to it. The, that's what I'm saying. All of the major story parts happened 
in Crim the Crimson Rain tie-ins, whereas the other one was more like, hey, we're just going to use these for, like, one-and-done stories, and then get to the main story at the last fourth, uh, like, the tail end of the story, and then not even complete it. I know that sounds weird. I know that sounds so weird, because it's a, it's the second of a trilogy, of course, and yeah, Star Wars is all known about trilogies. Now let's talk about some stuff um, in here I liked. This comic does have a lot of Vader and Palpatine, and it's very clear that Charles Soule really loves to write Vader and Palpatine. It's very obvious that he loves to write those two characters. They have a lot of stuff in here. There's actually a great moment where, like, Palpatine um, is like, I haven't used my lightsaber in a while, and spars with Vader, and he's like, all right, I'm good. And then Vader tries to come up behind him and stab him, and, like, Palpatine uses the Force to stop Vader. And I'm like, ah, yeah. So it's very clear, like, yeah, uh, there's that. Kira herself feels like she's a character written all over the place because, like, she uh, she talks about, like, freeing the galaxy from the Sith, but no one quite, like, she also has no um, answer to, like, what happens to the Empire or what to do with the Rebellion. It's very clear that, like, she has doesn't really have a plan and she just kind of tears apart the, the Empire. And it's also weird that, like, she has this hate boner for the Sith specifically, and it's not, and even like, it's, it's like some people have tried to say, oh, it's because of Maul punished her so much. And you could make that argument, but they never do. Like, no, like even Kira herself says, like, Maul was a great teacher, even though he was a bastard. But, like, she doesn't go into specifics. If anything, I figured, like, she'd use the Crimson Dawn to destroy criminal empires because that's what led, you know, led to her and Han being apart, as well as, you know, Jabba had Han, and she used her former lover Han as a bargaining trip to try to kill Vader in a fight. So I don't, I didn't get it. There is some, there is a lot of cool stuff in here. The Knights of Ren, I love how, like, in the comics, like in the movies, they build the Knights of Ren up as, like, a bunch of, you know, big, uh, like a big sacred order, when really, not only are they just, like, cannon fodder in the final trilogy, but in the comics, they're just a bunch of thugs who can... They're like a biker gang. They're like a drunken biker gang who use the Force like a, ch a child who used a dad's gu her, his dad's gun. It's kind of fun. And also, Palpatine just fucking blasts the shit out of them when he's like... The Knights of Ren of like, we switch sides from Kira to join with you, Lord Palpatine. You know, Emperor Palpatine. We serve you. And he's like... Nah. Burn, bitch! <laughs> Zap! <laughs> um, I think this does... It, it wraps up the story a little too quick, and it really doesn't feel like... It, it really feels like more that... Um, it was gonna, it wasn't gonna, the Hidden Empire wasn't gonna be an event, it was gonna be treated as a miniseries, so Soul had to finish his entire story up in five issues. The Fomata Cage, the, the MacGuffin of the story, is a cool concept, and I do like the, how they utilize it, um, but it's, but everything else just feels like it was Soul trying to wrap up a story that, admittedly, he was, he did put his, a lot of heart and, shall I say, soul into it. That was awful, I'm sorry. All in all, it's probably the best of the trilogy, um, but yeah, it's also kind of funny that, like, um, they, they clearly, like, I have this feeling that Star Wars editorial, the higher-ups who are doing the movies and whatnot, told Soul that he could only use Kira in a certain way and only go so far into her backstory and how her character is, because I feel like they were like, we gotta say, like, Dave Filoni's like, Dave Filoni's gonna do something with that character in a special or something, and one day, but not right now, but like one day, so you can't go full deep, balls deep into his char into her character and her wants and feels, and it could be that Filoni or some other creator will completely retcon everything you said and not even bother with the comics, even though they're in continuity, because they're going to be in the in the in the original trilogy. It'll be something with her in some other timeline. It really feels like he's like that's one of the. Pro I feel like that was a problem he ran into and couldn't get out of it. But all in all, it's a decent it's a decent miniseries. The Vader Palpatine stuff is definitely the strongest. Just to see them and the and the Crimson Guard slaughter their way through the Imperial Gu the Imperial Guardsmen, uh, just butcher their way through characters is awesome. But anyway, so you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of Star Wars The Hidden Empire, if you've read it? Um, did you guys like it, hate it? Comment below, let me know. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse, 
I'll see you next time in the multiverse.